Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this suspended kitty ride I call the Dragon Flyer. It comes in two different sizes and was first featured in my Rainbow Towers Park. Here you can see the larger version with some gentle swinging vehicles going around. These Dragon Flyer cars are actually from one of the expansion packs, but you can use other vehicles if you don't have them. And here's the smaller version, a little bit more gentle, but very simple to build, so let's get started. I'm going to use the Steel Wild Mouse track, 3 units high or 15 feet, and I'm going to use the tight turns to make a simple little square here at the entrance and exit, and there's our layout. I can't change the cars, so I need to turn on the cheats, so we need to have show all operating modes, unlock operating limits, allow arbitrary ride type changes, show vehicles from other track types, and disable vehicle limits. And then now we can change the vehicles to the face-off cars. They have a nice little stat bonus, and we are going to use one train with nine cars on the train. And then for the operating mode, we want powered launch passing station and we're gonna set it to six miles per hour. We can't change the number of circuits, so we need to change the ride type now to the mine ride. And now we can go back and change the number of circuits to whatever you want. Let's just start with three for right now. And then now we can test the ride to spawn the vehicles. And we have our very simple ride operating just like it should. Now to edit the vehicles, we will open the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. If you don't have this, the link is in the video description below. And we are going to select our ride here. And then now we want to go to vehicle one and we're going to change it to the dragon flyer cars and then we can hit apply to all vehicles on the train and they will all become dragonflies but we just want every other one so go to vehicle two and change that to something like the mini golf which is invisible and then you go and copy that on the left and then we go to all of the even vehicle numbers so four six and eight and we will paste that so they will all become the invisible mini golf and that's all there is to it. Next, we're gonna go into the paint and change the track colors to the invisible color. If you don't have that, you need to turn it on in the cheats to make it available. And then I'm just going to make the vehicles something colorful to look more like a dragonfly. And then now we can look at the stats. They're pretty low, but it is a gentle ride. We can actually up the number of circuits and it will increase the excitement a little bit, but it's a gentle ride. Now we can open the tile inspector and we need to move the entrance and exit buildings. So I will select it here and hit the copy button at the top, then delete it. And then I'm going to paste it just off from the center, paste it, rotate it. And then I need to lower it down to the surface level and hit make usable. And then I'll do the same for the exit building. I'm going to copy it and then delete it and then move it right here beneath the station, paste it, rotate it, and then lower it down to the surface level and hit make usable. And then for the station track right here, we can just make that invisible by clicking the button here. And then you just add your path and queue. And then we can go back to the paint and make the entrance and exit building invisible like this. And with a little bit of scenery, we're ready to open the ride. And then if we check on the stats, with that increase in the number of circuits, it does give us a medium excitement rating, which is a nice bump. And what's really great about this ride design is that you can actually save the track and build it in all of your parks. So I'm gonna do that quickly right now, saving it with the scenery. And there is a link in the video description if you'd like to download the track. Moving on to the larger version, we have the five x five version, and we're gonna use the mine ride track and use a larger turn radius, but the same layout. And then we're gonna add our entrance and exit building. And for the trains, we want one train but we want 15 cars per train. And we're actually going to use the impulse coaster trains. So change the vehicle type to impulse trains. And then for the operating mode, we are going to use the powered launch passing station. And you can bump the circuits to whatever you'd like. And the launch speed, I'm going to use 15 miles per hour. So a little bit faster. And then once we test the ride, we have our vehicles there. We're basically gonna go back into the edit ride vehicles plugin. And we're going to do the same thing, select the ride, change them to the dragon flyer cars and hit apply to all vehicles on the train and then make all of the even numbered vehicles the mini golf so it's invisible. Alternatively, you could use one of the invisible variants from the car ride vehicles. But now we have our working ride with our dragon flyer cars and it looks pretty nice. I could probably slow down the speed if I wanted, it's really up to your taste. But if you don't have the expansion packs, you can't use the Dragon Flyer cars. So alternatively, you could use something like the suspended swinging airplane cars. Well, you know, that's an option. 
and I don't think it looks terrible. You know, you could change the theme of the ride to something else. So here's an example of that with some of the airplane cars on there. And then also you could use these swinging cars from the mini suspended coaster. So that's another option. You actually have a number of different vehicles you could use for this ride rather than the dragonflies. But I think they all work pretty well. It just depends what you want the ride to be themed after. And then now all we have left to do is make the track invisible. And then we need to go into the tile inspector and move our entrance and exit buildings. We need to copy them, delete them, paste them somewhere else, rotate them and lower them down to the surface. And then we need to make the station invisible, add the queue and path, and then make the entrance and exit invisible. And then with some scenery, we have our Dragonfly ride. So this is the larger version, a little bit faster. The stats are okay, but I have some pretty low circuits, only 31 second long ride. So I could obviously increase the number of circuits for a longer ride time. It's so whatever you'd like. Now, if you don't want to build the ride yourself, you can actually download these tracks. They're linked in the video description below. But to build them, once they're downloaded, you are going to open up the mine ride and you are going to select which of the sizes you want. So here's the three by three, but we have to make sure disable clearance checks is turned on. Otherwise the scenery will disappear. And then we can actually build the five by five one here as an example as well. And so once they're both built, we can test them to spawn the vehicles, but they're going to not really be moving. So you actually have to go and manually update the powered launch speed to whatever you want it to be and make sure all of the other cheats are turned on as well that are required to make these rides operate. Then we can open the tile inspector and move the entrance and exit buildings accordingly. Because the ride platform is higher than the entrance and exit buildings, riders are going to enter the ride and then bump up into the air and walk to the ride vehicle. And when they exit the ride, the same thing is going to happen. They're going to walk through thin air and then drop down to the exit building. So it's going to look a little weird, but it's all right. Then you're going to open the edit ride vehicles plugin and update the ride vehicles accordingly. And there we have it. We have our small and large version of the Dragonfly ride. I think this is a great ride for any park. It's super simple and easy to build. In fact, you could add both of these rides to your park and use different ride vehicles and theme them differently. I just went with the plant tree theme to go with the Dragonfly vehicles, but I would love to see what ideas you guys can come up with. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe. Because next time, I'm going to show you how to build your very own four-sided drop tower with one queue that serves four different ride vehicles all operating independently of each other. So stay tuned for more.